Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 16th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the nested if else construct in Python and we're going to make a simple program in which uh, we'll check, we'll ask the user first to enter a character and then we're going to check whether the entered character is an uppercase alphabet or a lowercase alphabet or something else and if at all it is an alphabet then we're going to check whether the alphabet is uh, a vowel or a consonant. Right? So the first thing that I have to do is I'll have to use the input function to grab the user input and store it in a variable. So I'm going to store it in uh, a variable called char or char and I'll use the input function with empty parentheses and uh, this is going to ask the user to, you know, the cursor is going to blink, ask the user to enter a character and that character will be stored in this variable, right? That's what the input function does. And then I use the if statement and the ORD function to check whether the character's ASCII value lies in the range 65 to 90 or not. And the reason why I'm going to check between 65 to 90 is that the ASCII value, I'll use the ORD function in the shell to check the ASCII value of the alphabet capital A. So I know that that's 65 and uh, that of capital Z is uh, 90 and that of alphabet small a is 97 and that of alphabet small z, uh, small z is 122, right? So my range to check whether the character is an uppercase alphabet or not is going to be 65 to 90 and to check whether the character is, is, is a lowercase alphabet or not is going to be 97 to 122, right? So I have my work cut out here. I'll just have to, you know, put these conditions in if statements and make the checks. So ORD CHAR is greater than equal to 65 and ORD CHAR is less than or equal to 90, right? So I'm using the logical AND operator here to join these two conditions, the first uh, condition and the second condition, right? And I'll put a colon here and I'll use the print function to display a message, you know, like uh, you entered an uppercase alphabet, right? And uh, we are also going to check here whether the alphabet entered is a vowel or not. So I'll use another if statement and uh, this one I'll, you know, type in the variable name char, then the in operator and in a list I'm going to have all my uppercase vowels. So a and then capital E and then capital I. Let me get rid of this back uh, white space because I don't want my code to shift too much towards the right and then uh, I'll have a comma here and capital O and then capital U. I have a habit of typing a space every time I hit a comma and uh, if this is the case then we are going to use another print statement and using this one we're going to display the message you entered a vowel and if that's not the case then we'll have an else statement using which we are going to have a print function that displays the message you entered a consonant right cool enough and uh, if the ASCII value of the character entered is not in this range then we'll have to use the elif statement to have the uh, comparison for the you know other range which was 97 to 122 so if ORD char is greater than equal to 97 and ORD char is less than equal to 122 then I'll just copy this uh, entire block and I'll paste it you know in the if uh, elif block and uh, then I'm going to make the required modifications to it right so I'll copy and paste it here and uh, the first change that I'll have to make is change this to lowercase alphabet and then I'll have to change all these vowels to lowercase vowels, right? So A and then small e and small i and small o and small u, you entered a vowel else you entered a consonant that doesn't require any change and it could also be that the user enters uh, a digit or a special case character right so to cover all those cases we're going to have an, an else block right and this one corresponds to the if statement the you know first if statement that we wrote in the program and uh, in the else block i'll again have a print function and this one will simply display the message you did not enter an alphabet 
So before running the program, let me just walk you guys through the script once. So first we have used the input function to, you know, take the user's input and, you know, we've stored it in the variable char and then we've used the if statement to check whether the ASCII value of the character entered is greater than or equal to 65 and less than or equal to 90, right? So if that is the case, then it obviously is an uppercase alphabet. So we've used a print function to display this message. And then we've also checked whether the character lies in this list or not. And the reason I have all the uppercase vowels here and not the lowercase vowels is because we'll get to this if statement only if the character is an uppercase alphabet, right? So that's why we made comparisons only with uppercase vowels. And if it lies in this list, then we've used a print function to display the message that the character is a vowel and there's an else block, uh, you know, which has a print statement to display the message you entered a consonant. And uh, then we made the other checks using the elif uh, statement and the else statement here. So the elif block checks whether the character entered uh, has an ASCII value greater than or equal to 97, which is small a and less than or equal to 122, which is small z. And if that's the case, then it makes uh, comparisons with the lowercase vowels. And if it is a vowel, then it will display that it is a vowel. If it is a consonant, then it will display it is a consonant. And then there's also an else block that captures all other cases. So let me just, you know, save the program and uh, execute it. So when I type in a digit, right? So if I type in five and press the enter key, I see the message you did not enter an alphabet. So I'll go to the program and I'll read on it. And uh, this time I'll type in the percentage symbol. Right? And again, I see the message that you did not enter an alphabet. I'll go to the program once more, read on it, and uh, let me type in capital T now. So when I type in that, I see that I get messages, you entered an uppercase alphabet, and you entered a consonant, right? I'll go to the program, and I'll execute it, and uh, let me enter an uppercase uh, vowel, like capital O. So this time I see the message, you entered an uppercase alphabet, and you also entered a vowel. And if I rerun the program and uh, type in a small case vowel like U and press the enter key, I see that you entered a lowercase alphabet and you entered a vowel, right? So there is a typing error here. It should be A instead of uh, and, but then that's okay. So I hope you guys had fun watching this tutorial and uh, you guys have understood the nested if else construct now, which wraps up our discussion on decision constructs in Python. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about the while loop and it's gonna be an interesting tutorial. I'm looking forward to it and uh, thank you so much for watching this and you may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Till then, take care.